Came out to do a little scouting today. I'm gonna just bounce around to a bunch of spots. Probably gonna do more driving around than anything, but just gonna pop into a couple spots, look for some fresh sign and cover some ground. It's the beginning of our Iowa season right now. So all the guys are out hunting, me and Jake. We're just editing Joe's kill from Michigan. I'm out here by myself right now, just doing a little scouting. So go check some stuff out. Maybe see some deer, hopefully some bucks. I literally just pulled up my binos and went right to a nice buck, but he's looking right at me. That buck was bedded right there in that brush pile. I didn't get any footage of him, I don't think, very, nothing great, but what he's set up for is, you can see this ridge where everybody probably walks in at. I got eyes on him and I know right where he was at, but dang it, he ran right up into the cover that you'd expect him to be better than, which is in the back corner of this piece. There's a lot of thick cover on public but he was laying right out here in the open, just in a brush pile. The wind, he had some stuff at his back, wind coming over his back. Dang it. Not good, but I mean, it ain't terrible either. At least I know a buck's in here now. Nowhere near public, but he's big. Hopefully I can get this rig turned around. Oh, there he is. He's big. He's real big. My bad guy. Got a car behind me. I just kind of stopped, but oh well. That's a big buck there. Unfortunately, he's nowhere near public, so. Got to keep on dreaming. Well, it ended up being a pretty good night of scouting. That last buck there was nowhere near public, but I'm just kind of heading back towards town now. Pretty sweet though, they're up and moving big time tonight. There's a front pushing through tonight and into the morning, so. But pretty sweet to see some big bucks out running around. Hopefully we can get one down tonight or tomorrow. Me and Jake are heading back out for the evening to a spot where I saw a buck the previous night, last night, and I ended up bumping him out of his bed, but I saw right where he was laying at. We went and scouted a little bit, and I actually ended up getting an early muzzleloader tag, so we were sighting in Jake's muzzleloader for the past probably two or three hours. But we got an hour and a half daylight left about, and we're gonna head back to where we saw that buck and kind of work our way up get in between him and where he's going. So, should be a good night. We need this. Yeah, that's gonna have to be in our favor tonight because I smell like gun oil. Buck, nice buck. See this tree right here? Yeah. Right below it. How far? 100. 100? Yep. You see him right there? He's looking back. I think we should keep going and look. 
Okay. Before it gets too late. It's real slow. Jacob been sliding in here on the, on the east side of this piece with the west wind. We've seen three bucks, two that I had a shot for sure. We figured that'd be a possibility coming in here late, but we figured it's better than not going, so I think there's a real good chance we get a shot at one tonight, especially with this decoy up. That buck, I don't know if he was coming in here because we were making some noise and stuff or what, but he was coming in looking. Before. That one that just came out was a different one. What did you say? He said the one right there is the one that jumped the fence before. That one that just came in is a different deer. Thank you. 
first time coming in. You know? Right. Like this. It wasn't huge, but like, it fires you up when uh -huh. you're coming in like that. Nice buck. Nice buck. Should I That's the same ones that came in. I'm just giving them a break till tomorrow. Yeah. Obviously, you're not too sweet. about gonna do it for tonight. We ended up having a, I mean, real good night as far as seeing bucks. It's full rut out here. Yeah, it's full rut pretty much, so. <laughs> They're up and moving during this, this front that pushed through. It's gonna be the same conditions tomorrow pretty much. My dad actually came into town and I'm gonna be hunting with him for a little bit. He's got an early muzzleloader season tag and so do I. So, we're just gonna probably end up right back in here in the morning and just back down to this cove a little bit, but just get right in there, girl, and hopefully catch one up on his feet. We'll have some more an extended range in the morning, so it should be a fun time.